hello everyone so today I'm going to work on this uh, spring interpolation for the character when I climb on the wall so for example let me show you when the character is moving on the wall you can see there is some kind of uh, oscillation and dampening in the character's body when I move left and right you can notice that so that's the effect I'm going to try and develop today this oscillation And as always, this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so at the moment, I move my capsule component using this move component to node. So because of that, let me show you. When I move the wall uh, the character moves without any um, any weight like it's uh, simply move from point A to point B not no any sprain like behavior like go a little bit to right and then come back s before stabilize so nothing like that happens so therefore i am trying to use this uh, spring vector interpolation using that i am trying to move character's body so to do that let's do it like this This is the rotation yo and okay so I'm gonna break these things like this because I want to promote this to a macro so it would be clear if I do it like this and I do the same for the rotation as well. Make rotator and use only this, like this. Right now, I'll select this two and collapse to macro I'll call it move character 2 because I am moving the whole character by moving the capsule component okay so here we have this now instead of using this small component tool this is what i'm going to do right so here i'll promote this to a variable i'll call it target capsule location and right um actually i'm not sure what this variable does so yeah let's do the trial and error 
okay so this is the target capsule location and yeah for now I'll set the relative rotation of the capsule uh, oh, like this set relay I'll just directly set it without any interpolation because uh, I first need to test how does the location spring interpolation works and after that let's do this let's get this target capsule location as the target and for the current location I just get mm, mm, what relative location. I set it like this. All right. So I leave this blank because uh, I'm not sure about that so for the stiffness how stiff the spring model is more stiffness means more oscillation around the target value all right let's try something like for you I'm not sure okay let's try something like 0.2 here let's try something like 0.1 and then Relative location. Like this. And uh, then we can check whether these two target location and the uh, current location is equal. this and let's do a branch if this is equal then I can exit from this macro otherwise I'll add a delay of 0.1 second and do this again see what happens of it spring state must be generated how to set that can I make one all right I can make oh, wait But here I don't have any elements. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, so somehow the error is gone. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> All right, we have some oscillation but it's bad all right so let's try something like 0.1 for the stiffness and see what happens <laughs> all right something is happening yeah actually that's a little too much and too slow maybe I should increase this <gasps> all right Oh. 
okay so now let's increase the damping let's try something like 0.7 first Okay, now the damping is too much, I guess. Point Now you see what I'm doing and we have to find the perfect values uh, to simulate a human body to make it look realistic. Okay, so by changing by using trial and error i think uh, these values are good enough stiffness is one and critical damping pack factor is 0 0.6 and at a time is one so yeah now this is what happens now no I think we have still have problems <gasps> yeah like this so now as you can see there is some oscillation in the character's body whenever I try to move like this So yeah, uh, but it's mm, we have to wait until this part is completed because I go to this output only after I complete this inside of this node. So, but uh, that's not good. So therefore. I'll make do something like this. Let's add a delay of let's say of let's add a sequence. And then add a delay of 0.4 second, which is exactly the same as this one. and then connect it to the output right so after that yeah if this is true I'll set relative location same as the target like this and here I'll connect this part the part after this with the two ones not because I may get multiple requests to this part to execute 
even when I haven't finished this oscillation so therefore I'll reset it only after I go to this state and compile right now I have to do use the same thing here as well instead of this move component to the relative location and the relative rotation is this one and the component is this one and I don't need that anymore all right so this is what happens now we have a little bit of realism not still perfect but a little better than what we had see Okay, so right. So yeah, I'll stop at this point for today, and uh, I will continue to work on this uh, climbing system to make it more realistic uh, in future episodes. And uh, yeah, if you would like to support my work. You can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And also, uh, if you want to get uh, early access to my third person shooter series, you can uh, also get that in the Patreon. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.